So as you can tell by this video, yes, I am pregnant with my fourth baby. If you don't already know, I have a 12 year old son, a 10 year old daughter and a four year old son. So if baby number four could make things more spur of the middle, we do not know, but we are so excited. I will be doing my ninth week pregnancy update. I'll be 10 weeks in a couple days, so I thought it's the perfect time to be sharing with you guys. And yeah, we are just very excited. So let's get into the pregnancy symptoms. So first of all, I've been so, so nauseous. Oh my gosh, it's been really, really difficult. With my first pregnancy, I didn't have any nausea. I just felt a little blah. My second, I was nauseous for about a week and a half, two weeks, and I kind of just dealt with it because it didn't end up going away. And I only like probably threw up a couple more times after that, just very random like blips. So it was very doable. And then with my third, I tried to stick it out and it's just not getting better. I had two other kids to take care of. So I just decided to take the medication and it did help a lot. I would not say it was a cure-all, but it made life a lot more doable and I felt pretty good given that I was pregnant. And then this time around, it is not doing anything. So like, I don't want to say it's not doing anything. Like I haven't thrown up, but I feel so, so ill 24 seven. There's so many times where I just can't even like cook. Thank God my kids are a bit older. So sometimes we do have sandwich night or we do food prep so they could just like heat up their food. And yeah, for my toddler, I've also just bought very convenient meals and that's been such a lifesaver. It's just been terrible. I believe it started like five and a half weeks and it just has not let up. It is 24 seven. And I'm not sure if the medication is helping, but I'm not gonna stop taking it just in case it is because I do not want to feel worse than this because it is pretty terrible. Like every day, at least a few times a day, I really think I am going to be sick, but luckily I have not been so far. Something else that has been really rough is the breakouts. I've been breaking out like crazy and I have dealt with breakouts here in pregnancy in the past and it normally comes in like waves. Like it could get a little bad and then gets really good, but my skin has just been absolutely terrible, worse in my life. and. It's really hard because you can't really take much stuff when you're pregnant because it can be dangerous and just safety concerns. So it's tough not feeling your best, but it is completely worth it. But it is something just worth noting if you're dealing with the same, like it will get better. <laughs> like I'm sure it's going to get better as my hormones start to level out and the placenta takes over. So for now, it's just sucking and not dealing with it. Another major symptom I've been having is just fatigue. I'm tired all the time, 24 seven, and just nothing could cure it. Sleeping doesn't work. I wake up tired and I'm just very, very tired all the time, but I'm not the type of person that naps. So I'm not doing naps like I said, I have three other kids. Like there's just no time. So I don't mind it. I just deal with it, but it is something that's not the best. And yeah, it's not great at all, is it? <laughs> And then I have gained some weight. I always tend to, I'm like one of those weirdos. I gain several pounds after the first trimester. And it's probably because I normally eat pretty healthy, but when I'm dealing with nausea, I just want to eat whatever I feel like eating because it's already so hard. So that always makes me gain weight. And I just also get very bloated. So I know a lot of it's water weight that will come off. I always start getting like kind of rectangly box I guess you call it normally I'm pretty hourglass so I've already like filled up on the sides and then my stomach kind of looks a little bloated definitely does not look like the thumb I'll insert some pictures and videos that I'll take tomorrow because it's the end of the night and I'm just really bloated in general so I want to just have a true look of what I typically do look like but yeah But yeah, as you guys could tell, like, I definitely just look like I've gained a little bit. I don't think I look like I'm 10 weeks pregnant. If this is your like, first or second pregnancy, you're like, wow, you're already like, getting so big so quick. That's just typical once you've had like a few babies because your muscles and everything are relaxing. Your body just starts prepping early. And lastly, we do not know the gender yet. I do have a 3D ultrasound for 14 weeks. That video will be going up in December 2023. If you are interested and yeah, I'll do a gender reveal then, as usual, we don't have a preference. Like 
I don't think you should when you're pregnant. I think you should just be grateful for a baby and hopefully that it's healthy. And I think that's really all that matters. And I'm just really, really excited. Like, it's just fun once you do know because you can start really picturing a life with said child. And yeah, my kids also just really want to know. They do kind of have a gender preference, their kids. So. I don't blame them but they also don't care if it ends up being the other gender because they just really really of course love each other and know that they're going to love this baby so much anyways i hope you guys liked the video make sure you are subscribed and thumbs up this video if you want to see more content like this and if you have any comments or questions leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and if you are pregnant as well congratulations if you have any tips for morning sickness let me know because help a girl out this is brutal so yeah i hope you all are doing great and maybe you've been having an easier pregnancy than me and yeah see you in my next video bye